It's good late morning, everyone, or early afternoon. Um, this is Susan here at Butler Family Farm, and I'm participating in Gail's Southern Living uh, Weird Container Growing 24. My container this year is a uh, mineral tote that was in the garden and got caught up in our garden fire which is, there's a video out on the garden playlist and it's all melted down in this area but it has holes in the bottom and i think i'm going to put a little bit more dirt in here but it's um it's going to be my weird container growing 24 uh, container this year and i'm going to plant oh i just looked it up and I'm going to do it two different ways. I'm going to plant um, four o'clock seeds that Miss Jan over at Simply Jan's Homestead gave me last fall, I believe it was. And I've saved them and I looked it up and they're supposed to be planted in the spring. But it says for best germination on a website I checked, I should soak them overnight. However, I don't have that uh, time right now because uh, we are leaving for um, uh, Ten killer uh, Tomorrow which is Thursday, so I'm gonna plant Some seeds in my container and then I'm going to soak some uh, That are that I can put real quick into some uh, solo cups in the house and see if they germinate so that if the ones out here in this container don't germinate then I can uh, put them in, uh, in the dirt once they start growing in the container, in those solo cups in the house, I can bring them out and put them out here in my weird container garden. So, a little short video, check it out. It's an open collab with Gail Southern Living, and I believe it runs through the month of August. Um, she does have a playlist going, so you can check out everybody else's and I appreciate you stopping by. These cups have my uh, four o'clock seed starts that uh, Jan gave me last year and I follow the directions better with putting them in the cups and I put them under my lights um, and the directions, excuse me, were to soak the seeds for 12 to 24 hours and then uh, plant. So I these are the starts I did in the cups that I soaked. Uh, we're going to go out to the um, garden where the container, weird container is that I'm using for this collaboration. Um, and I'm going to uh, park these guys in that cup. But see how, how well they are, how they look great. And uh, we'll take a look at what's in the pot um, outside, out there in the garden. So here's what's in my weird container garden, and I do not see anything at all in this dirt that I have right here. So I'm going to um, I'm going to put these in here, but I'm going to weed out um, all these uh, little uh, starts of something that are trying to grow in my container. Um, I believe it's from the soil, mushroom soil dirt that we got and um, uh, get it cleaned up before I put my uh, plants in here because I want it to be a good clean plants. Jerry said that probably the difference between out here and those guys they were sitting under 16 hours of light and these didn't have that much because they've been out this dirt this pot they've been out here with the storm we've had at least two if not three storms come through where there's not the sun so that's probably what uh you know uh kept these uh, seeds in the, that I put in here from germinating. But I'm going to go turn the water on for my donkeys. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to clean up this uh, area before we pot. 
I mean, before I plant and um, see what happens. Hey, as I was pulling out these little whatever they are, I noticed that this one, this one, the leaves were a little bit different. And you can't see it, I can, but the stem is um, red. So, in looking at these guys, I think that one of my seeds is coming through, so I didn't pull it out. And um, the leaf is looking like this, as well as the little redness to the, to the stem. So I'm thinking, and we'll just watch it, that this, I did get one of the seeds to uh, germinate, which, you know, yippee. Okay, now to placement. I think I'm going to do, do it this way. Um, I'm not sure if my container's the right way for getting all the sun because it's in shade right now. Of course, it's only like 11, 30, 12, so pretty soon the sun's going to be coming in there. So I think we'll be fine there. And I don't know, this one has two in it. This one has one, so I'm going to kind of get it close to the single here. And I'll put these two back here. And then my third cup's got two in it also which probably works somewhat like in there. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Sort of a circle of sorts. We'll see, I'm kind of excited how these, how these are all gonna come up. And um, I'm gonna go on to the next one, the next challenge, which isn't for the weird container garden, but I will leave it, I, I will say something about it. I go to a homesteaders, ladies homesteader gathering group, and somebody brought in uh, Thomas Jefferson bean seeds, and I'm going to um, plant them. They have to be soaked, and I'm going to definitely soak them. I'm going to start them in my cups because we've got the hydroponic uh, light going, and so I've got another light. But I'm going to plant them over in an area that already has um, a uh, cattle panel up because they are viney. And I think it'd be really pretty. And they put out a purple uh, pod. They're not edible, but it's just for looks. And then I can uh, harvest them and have more for next year. Is what I'm going to do with these guys. When they come to seed, I'm going to collect them and uh, share them out like Jan did and uh, see what happens. So I'm going to plant, then we'll come back. Everyone has its new home. And I clean the dirt away from this little guy so he can survive. I'll have to watch and make sure that he survives or I'll have a hitch in my circle. But anyway, I think they're going to do pretty good. This one here, I'm not concerned too much with the sun because it's going to be over in another, I don't know, half hour or so. The whole thing's going to be like sun, sun, sun. So, I believe that's about it. Um, I will be out here again in a couple of weeks to um, double check, make sure everything's going with another video to keep you all updated on my weird container growing. Thanks, Gail, for doing this collab again. It's uh, fun to go out and find a container, a weird container um to grow with and um looking forward to uh, seeing everybody else's videos have a great day everybody